Hey guys, end of the work day. Wanted to give you guys some uh, updates and uh, new information as well as answer some questions I got for the new YouTuber tag. See you in a bit. Hey guys, it's cold in the shop. Very cold in the shop. Today I wanted to talk about some new things that I'm going to try. And I got a pile of questions here for the new YouTuber tag. And granted I've been here for a year, but I haven't really been pushing myself for more than a couple of months. I've recently had a couple of people support me on Patreon, which is amazing because I had kind of forgotten about it and the reason I forgot about it is because I really didn't have any good ideas for rewards so I had kind of just left it there and planned on coming back to it but now that I've got some people there I definitely need to pursue getting that straightened out because it's awesome to have that support doing these videos gets expensive it gets tiresome it's time consuming they're actually pretty tough to make when you talk about you know planning preparation and just sort of you know all the time that goes into into making each one of these I am setting up a discord server or have set up a discord server I don't know a whole lot about it we have one for our stream channel but we don't really use it a ton I have the app on my phone and I really think it'd be a cool idea to be able to stay in more constant communication with everybody that really has an interest in what I do. Because the new ideas that you get from other people and the feedback you get from other people is really important to me, uh, core in building that business. And uh, I find that a lot of that stuff is just really interesting. Plus I uh, am extremely extroverted. So that's, you know, kind of a big deal. So for those of you who support me on Patreon or would like to support me on Patreon, um, you will not only get access to the Discord server, I mean, you'll get that regardless of whether you support me or not. You can go join the Discord server. But if you support me on Patreon, you get a special access level. So you can set yourself apart from the other people. This is one of the neat little perks that are there. So the new YouTuber tag uh, is, is a way to put out some information about who... I am as a person and what my channel is about. Originally it was 20 questions, but I felt like a bunch of them were redundant. So I weeded it down to 10. What is the name of your channel? I'm sorry. What is your name? And what is the name of your channel? My name is John. My wife's name is Audrey. Mia is my good friend. Jeff is my good friend. Zach is my good friend. And... We have a production company called Future Mod Studios. Uh, that's me, Jeff, and Zach, anyway. And we do short films and web series and just things like that. Mia and I and Audrey, my wife, have started doing the vlog thing as sort of a, just a fun thing to do. Initially, well, I'm getting ahead of myself, getting ahead of myself. The name of the channel is Deadland Steamworks. Question number two is, what does the channel name mean? Deadland Steamworks is the culmination of a couple of things. When I was a kid uh, playing, you know, computer games, video games and stuff, 
Uh, Deadlands was my call sign. I don't remember who gave it to me or why it stuck around. It just did. So I went by Deadlands for, for all the time I was playing Call of Duty and Counter-Strike. All that kind of stuff. Deadlands Steamworks got evolved from a friend of mine wanted me to help her make a costume because I was a crafty person. And we decided to make her a steampunk fairy costume. And if I can find the picture, I'll, I'll pop it up over here somewhere. But I had never sewn before. I had never crafted anything like seriously before. But I was a crafty person. And I've always been pretty artistic. So she wanted help doing this. Anyway, we knocked it out. It looked awesome. But I was really dissatisfied with the, the fake leather. And mind you... I still didn't know how to sew. I, I literally went to Walmart. I bought a sewing machine. I watched two YouTube videos, made a pattern out of, out of masking tape and poster board, and made her a corset from scratch in like a week. Uh, and it worked out really well. After that, I was really dissatisfied with making things out of the fake leather. And I really wanted to make things out of real leather. More industrious, more durable, more you know, has that more authentic feel. And I wanted things to be a much higher quality on top of that. So I started making leather things. And if you go browse through my Facebook gallery, you'll see a lot of photos. But I'll post some things up here uh, if, I, if I remember to. Um, I started making gauntlets and armor and corsets and just things that were a lot of fun. And then I started going to conventions, steampunk conventions primarily, and I needed a business name that fit that theme. So Deadline Steamworks kind of came from there. Question number three, where am I from? I was born in Altmulgee, Oklahoma. I grew up in Lawton, Oklahoma, and I currently live in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. What is this channel about? Question number four. When I first started the YouTube thing, I thought it'd be a neat idea to talk about and show off some of my leather work. However, I, I played Magic the Gathering competitively for a long time. And so once I started doing the leather work, I found that I can make decent money making play mats and deck boxes and, and backpacks and things for Magic players. But I got burnt out on it really quick. I still make them. Um, I still enjoy it a little bit. But I make a lot of it. Deck boxes are the thing I sell the most of. And I, I sell them at a price that I feel like is over the top competitive. And basically does not make me any money. And that's okay because I still want to keep making things. They're quick and easy. They usually take between 3 to 4 hours to make one deck box. But I really miss making the costume stuff. So I want to get back to that. Anyway, that's what my channel's about. It's about my art, not specifically my leather work. I'm also very passionate about photography and cinematography. I was a wedding photographer for 14 years. So this channel, to be more specific, is about all of the things that I do. My life, my day, my artwork, my hobbies, what's going on. They tell you to get a niche for YouTube. I, I'm, I'm a man without a niche. I do leather work. I do photography, I do cinematography, I draw, I paint, I'm a dad, I'm a husband, I'm crazy, I've got all this stuff going on. The channel is about a lot of things. Uh, undoubtedly there will be some technical reviews of camera and photography gear at some point, may not be for everybody. There will definitely be more leather work videos, may not be for everybody. But the thing that I feel like ties it all together is it's really all like when you boil it down it's about me and my life and my story and in the future when I'm old and can't do this anymore or can't do anything anymore or die or whatever my son and my daughter will have the chance to come back and look at my life and be like you know what that's who my dad was and we can remember him through this story and you know if I have a message that that you know, reaches out to you and helps you out for some reason or other, then freaking awesome. But my channel is about my life, my story, my message, and, and providing a future for my kids to go back and look at. Question number five. I am way behind. 
Who inspired you to start a channel? I'm going to blame this on Jeff. Top three favorite YouTubers. Casey Neistat, because that man can deliver a story like nobody else, and I really look up to him and his ability to deliver a story. Peter McKinnon, because that guy, I mean, he's good with a camera. His stuff is interesting. Third favorite, Zach of Idea, because, you know, Zach is one of my business partners. He painted my 500 subscriber button for me. Question number seven, if you could collab with anyone, who would it be? I would actually, I already collaborate with my favorite people, my wife, Audrey, and Mia. She's freaking awesome. I wish I could drag Jeff into this, but a famous YouTuber that I would really love to collab with is Peter McKinnon because I like his style. I like what he does. I'm super down for that. Um, I'm just a fanboy. What can I say? Question number eight, what do you think the hardest thing about being a YouTuber will be? 100% it's having something to talk about every time it's time to vlog. Question number nine, do you see yourself being on YouTube for a long time? I don't plan on leaving. Question number 10, tips for new YouTubers? Get off your butt and do stuff. Quit being lazy, quit sitting around, quit wanting to do this thing or waiting on a new camera or a new piece of gear. Just grab what you've got and get after it. Anyway, if you're new to the channel and you've made it this far, I appreciate it. Hit the subscribe button for me, like the video, share this with your friends so they can learn a little bit about who I am too. If you have questions for me or comments for me or just want to have a chat, feel free to post them down below. Jump over to the Discord server, drop a message there. I've got it on my phone. I'll respond to it there too. If you want to support me and my family, because this crap is expensive and there are bills to pay, there's child care, there's food to put on the table, holy crap, it's expensive. If you want to be a part of supporting me, su support me by subscribing to the channel number one, sharing me with your friends number two, but if you really want to support me, jump over to Patreon. Um, there's there's a couple of things over there that I'm offering, you know, like I'm giving, a, I'm giving some uh, discount codes to the Etsy shop. And, of course, you get the special Discord, you know, role on, on the chat server. And as time goes on, I may add more rewards to the tiers whenever I think of things or get given suggestions. Um, you know, we'll just have to see how that pans out. But, for now, Patreon is the best place to support me. And, oh man, I would love every one of you to be over there. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends. Hit me up on Patreon. Find me on all the social media Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Facebook, wherever. Say hi, say hello, drop a comment, let me know how you're doing, what you think, any ideas, and I'll see you guys next time.